uh, the you know the odd rotation strategy they had this season. I mean, I think only one Rocky even threw 100 innings. I mean, it's just very strange. I mean, you don't think Trace well, is a good they, manager in the first place, no matter even if he has no, talent. Ter- so I think he's terrible. Okay. I mean, he would have been a legit candidate for worst. Um, <laughs> why? Tell us why. Because people do, ask. He, he he did nothing well. He was poor at setting the lineup. He was terrible at managing the bullpen. Uh, he was. I mean, I, I'm struggling to come up with a word for sort of these anti-development managers, you know, getting the young guys, not playing them or playing them in the wrong situations. Uh, Tracy was obsessed with little ball. He was very old school. Like the number two hitter has got to be a guy who can bunt and advance the runners. Like, really? I want to stab myself in the eye when somebody says that. <laughs> it's it's 2012. If you have Google, you can probably figure out that that's the wrong way to set a lineup, <laughs> especially in course Field where runs are relatively easy to come by. That might have been his worst sin. Because this guy was a terrible manager everywhere. He stunk in L.A. He stunk in Pittsburgh. How he managed to stay in Colorado that long is beyond me. Because basically, his, he got the job because he was standing around when they had to fire Clint Hurdle for giving the virtual finger to the team's best player, Tulowitzki. Remember that? He benched Tulowitzki because Tulowitzki grounded into a double play when the team was down 8 nothing, And so they fired him because he'd, basically, he'd lost the clubhouse, I think, in a very meaningful way at that point. And frankly, if you're the front office, it's like, if you're making me choose between you, my dimwit manager, and my best player, I don't have to think real hard about that one. So they fired Hurdle. Tracy was standing around. Then the team went on a run. Well, the team was actually pretty talented that year. So then they decided Tracy was the answer. Tracy wasn't the answer. Your team was good. Now go out. The season's over. you got an interim manager. Tell him, you know what, we're putting you in the pool with all the other candidates. We're going to go out and do a real manager search now. We're going to look for the best possible candidate, not give you the job just because you were standing around at the time that we needed somebody. And over the next couple of years, you could see Tracy just continue to sort of hold that team back through all of that mismanagement I just mentioned. I remember 2010, they were still they still had a chance to sneak into the playoffs, and he basically let Houston Street die on the vine, losing all of these late, all of these games late. Because they weren't safe situations. I can't use Houston Street. It's not a safe situation. So whoever they get is going to be an upgrade. I hope that they look at this as an opportunity to to go a little bit out of the box. You're in a weird situation in Coors Field. You're in a weird situation because you really don't have much of a starting rotation. I didn't hate the idea of tandem starters in the first place. I particularly hated the idea of giving Jim, Jim Tracy the keys to anything, let alone a way to blow up your pitching staff. So... I, I hope they go out and find somebody who's a different thinker. It doesn't have to be some stat head manager, just somebody who's open-minded and willing to try some different strategies because your challenge in course field is more difficult. I think it's the toughest GM job in baseball to, to put together a club there because you're dealing with obstacles no other GM has to face. And Plus, now they basically have two GMs, right? O'Dowd and Guy Vett have kind of split the job a little bit, and I think Troy Rank had written that Guy Vett wanted to make some changes to the coaching staff, and that might be why Tracy wouldn't stay. That's not all entirely clear. Troy's been pretty on top of the story. So stuff is still kind of dribbling out. But uh, you know, the fact that there's a split GM situation there could also cause some issues. Could also cause some issues with hiring the new manager. you got to hope that, that Guy Vett, no doubt, are, are on the same page with, with the major league roster and the major league coaching staff. You know, I, I got to tell you, Keith, a little constructor's criticism, if you don't mind. I, I can't tell which side of Jim Tracy you're on here. Do you like him or do you not like him? Because you really haven't made it very clear. So I just I'm wanna, not a fan. Okay. I just wanted to make sure because, you know, your your diatribe there it was, you know, a little wishy-washy. All right. That's sarcasm, people. Yeah. 